welcome to this extra video. Today's extra video is all about Finn. Finn, uh, you guys might not know. Yesterday was Finn's gotcha day. You yep. guys also might not know that the sun's blinding me. All right, let's back up a little bit. Trying to get us all in the frame has been a nightmare. This is just Okay, worse. so we have had a Finn how many years? Two. Two years now, and holy heck, it has been a journey. You guys got to see us going to to try Finn. Are you gonna canter? You can do it when you're up close to it. Like, <laughs> he thought you were ready. If you only that's okay for you. Okay. Well, he, that's, that's all he wants to do is stop. Not a girl. When you're ready to canter, you're just gonna sit, squeeze your outside heel, and a little scoop. Go ahead. He wants to. Say, come on, if you just give me one little can and we're all done, you tell him. Use your words. Talking to him. That's it. Go ahead. There you go, two steps. That's what you got. <laughs> you go. <laughs> oh. Keep going. It's up to Sophie and the trainer. I say it's up to the trainer. Jonah yeah, said yes. And us being <laughs> unsure, and our trainer saying, I think this is the one. You really got to try this one again. So we went back and tried him again, and we brought him home. Goal is you're going to go to the side door of the trailer, and you're just going to walk. And he's going to walk right up in the trailer, just like it was like you're walking in the barn door. Don't, no, going, no pause. Just no pause, walking. no looking, just walk. I don't know what it is about you. <laughs> Just needed somebody confident. Yeah. We just bought a horse. We just bought a pony. We just, bought we just sticked them, and he's 14 two. 14 two. A horse with the name with F in the name. Yeah. And Sophie. Sophie, how do you feel? I love them. I was trying hard to get by, taking day by day. But baby, then you came along. I know I never felt that strong. Nothing's gonna hold us down. Yeah, we are taking. Like, oh my god, what do you think you're doing at my house? So I'm like, ooh, a boy. Yeah. <laughs> it might not even squeal or anything because that's what Stella's like. Her door because she would get herself stuck. Oh, well, no, I took it out. Well, there's some excitement level here. Stella's never this Stella, excited. Dad, you should close the door. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> He's like, she looks like a mean girl. Woo! Did she? Yeah, in the very beginning. Why are you a mean girl? He's like, no, I just want to eat all this day to myself. <laughs> Two girls! <laughs> okay, so Willow's gonna be the troublemaker. 
Stella waits for Willow to eat hay. And then Stella's going to say, hey, that's my pony? Oh, no. Yeah. You touch my pony. <laughs> Yay, Stella. But meanwhile, it's the pony causing the trouble. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. Never dreamed we were getting a Palomino, you guys. Not in your life did I ever believe that. So I don't know if I told you guys the story about Finn, but basically I dream everything and I always have a feeling about things. And so when we got Storm, I knew he was our horse before we even got him. And like I knew the way it all worked, I knew he was our horse. And then when we got, and when we got Stella, I knew she was our horse. And then when we got to the, to the and I've shared those stories before about how I knew, but when we got to Finney, I didn't know he was our horse. Like, I didn't recognize him. I hadn't dreamt about him. I didn't have any feelings about him. And I was so conflicted. One day, so this, how the story went was that one day our trainer messaged us and said, hey, you know, my friend has a horse that's for sale. It's a Palomino pony and he'd be perfect for Sophia. And I was like, a Palomino pony? I wasn't even expecting a Palomino pony. I don't even know what I was expecting. But we were looking for a horse and I said, okay, well, let's go see him. And so we did go and see him. And we went there, and like I said, I did not have a feeling. I didn't have any feelings, good or bad. I, I, I didn't recognize Finn. I didn't know Finn. I didn't know if he was the one for us. For me, buying Finn was a leap of faith because our trainer kept telling us, this is the one, this is the one. And I didn't have any way to tell. I couldn't rely on my regular method on how to tell if he was the right one. So I took a big giant leap of faith and it was smooth sailing from then on out. Was it smooth sailing? Was no. It? No. He had put us through the ringer. When we tried him, he had been sitting in a field pretty much and and just hanging out with kids. And when we tried him and getting him back in, and he was lazy and relaxed. And then when we got him fit, holy heck, he was not lazy and he was not slow, was he? He is a fast, speed demon and he loves his job and he is an amazing pony so glad we got him we went through a lot of hardships you guys remember all the troubles that we had with him whoa sylvia and i are going to show you how brave she is after her fall but just wait because there's a horse coming up on our rear yay We have entry number 050, Sophie riding Special FX. Was it hard? You remembered your core? So let's talk about your boy. How was he? He was like the best. He was He's a champion. Yeah, so he rode so much smoother, so much quieter. Did you notice a difference from yesterday? Yeah. We just went in there. It's like we were having a lesson, but we had to do a course. He's like, doesn't mean you care about anything. His ears were perked the whole time. Yeah, that's your little show pony. I'm glad that he likes to jump. I'm glad that he likes to jump too. Do you think we made the right decision? Yeah. Do you think we made the right decision? Yeah. I can't imagine our life without Finny Boy. I cannot imagine. He's one of the most loving, considerate, kind, emotional horses I've ever seen. There was a time that Storm was alone in a field and he was really sad. And every time Storm would call out, Finn would make sure the Storm could see him. Like he is a very caring horse. I think the fact that he's so caring is what Sophia loves the best about him. And she's really- My gun won't turn off. Okay, okay please. Okay, okay. <laughs> I also like how short he is. Yeah. And, and then if I do fall off him, it's not far from Yeah. So tell me one thing that you love about Mr. Finney. That Finn really likes to jump and he's so happy. Well, tell me one thing that you don't like about Mr. Finney. Nothing. Is there nothing you would trade about Finn? Would you no. like him to go slower? No. Would you like him to dread, be less powerful? No. No? You love your boy? Yeah. He's All right. Powerful. He's kind of powerful. All right, Gabby. Tell us, what is your favorite thing about Finny Boy? 
So he's fun to ride. He's fun, he's definitely fun. What's your least favorite thing about Finny? That you don't get to ride him enough? Yeah. Yeah, Gabby wants to ride Finn all the time. And I feel like Finn has a good relationship with Gabby and with Sophie. I hope you guys enjoyed this little flashback of uh, celebrating. I hope you guys enjoyed this little flashback and I hope you enjoyed celebrating Finn with us. We are so grateful. I'm so glad that I took a leap of faith through all the trouble and all the happiness. I never ever for a second would wish that boy away. I feel lucky and grateful and so amazed that God brought him into our life. Happy gotcha day, Finny. We love you. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine. Oh, show me what you can do. My hands feel